our two peoples maintain very close contact and frequently travel to each other's countries. Tourist exchanges between our two countries is intensifying bilaterally. Tourist travel between India and Mauritius, the number of Indian tourists coming into Mauritius in 2016 was 82,600, which was a growth of about 14.6%, while the number of Mauritian travelers going to India was in 2015 was 32,500. So we are seeing that between India and Mauritius, tourism is growing at about 15% annually. Tourism is definitely one sector where both sides can and are doing more. There have been several recent initiatives by the Government of India, which include the e-tourist visa. We have in fact doubled the number of travellers from Mauritius going on electronic visa than those who are actually coming to the High Commission and obtaining a visa uh, in the mission, which is a good positive trend. We have a tourism scheme called Prasad, Pilgrimage Rejuvenation and Spiritual Augmentation Drive, which aims at providing complete religious and spiritual tourism experience. It covers sites such as Amravati, Sri Sailam and Tirupati in Andhra, Gaya and Patna in Bihar. Air Mauritius is already flying to four de destinations in India, Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai and Bangalore. And it has been agreed to add Kolkata and Hyderabad to this list. I understand there is interest from Goa as well. I would encourage the travel industry and the travel companies present amidst us here today to further develop their contacts with their Indian counterparts in order to utilize all the various avenues and options available. I'm sure that with your support, our efforts to increase tourism and enduring tourist linkages will be fruitful. In fact, you have a very, very wide variety of products to offer. We have developed a niche because of what Mauritius is. And with 1.2, 1.3 million tourists, we have reached 1.5 or 1.6 billion dollars of receipts and I'm sure that with the variety of, of products that you're offering and the facilities because when we travel the first facility is the visa most probably you will come very soon to visa on arrival without even the e-visa procedure and the, the most important thing for you professors who are selling the promoting the package is a daily flight to Mumbai at least on this on every every day same hour. This will help you organize your packages. We could work on a twinning of destinations that is Mauritius and India for people coming from Africa, and this can be done with the airline and the two operators, just like we can do the twinning of people coming from India for what we offer in Mauritius, dream destination and safari into Africa. And this can work, and it can work the other way as well. That is people from Africa coming to Mauritius and then going to India. The local, our two operators, together with Air Mauritius, should work out the best packages. You have to make the proper packages, you have to promote them, on the, on, on the net, you have to promote them, you have to communicate to people, because Mauritian people going to India have to have a wide variety of products. Donc aujourd'hui, en tant que ligne aérienne, on est content de participer à cet événement organisé par le Indian Icom de Maurice et le Tourism Office de l'Inde basé à Johannesburg. Donc on est content et on welcome le l'initiative du ministre Bouda pour nous suggérer de, de présenter des, des packages intéressants pour les Mauriciens pour voyager sur l'Inde. Donc nous, on accompagne les agences de voyage pour leur montrer ce qu'il y a de bien en Inde pour justement vendre la destination Inde. Donc nous, à Rostral, on, voyage, on, on emmène les touristes mauriciens surtout sur Chennai et au départ de Chennai, partout en Inde, avec la collaboration d'Air India sur Bombay, Bombay, 
euh, Delhi, Kochi, que les, les agences de voyage mauriciennes proposent actuellement. Ils proposent aussi des pèlerinages, comme le ministre a aussi mentionné des pèlerinages à Vélan Cani, par exemple, et aussi des packages spa ayurvédiques. Donc il y a tout ça qui est, qui est available aujourd'hui chez les agences de voyage mauriciennes.